The inception of Pakistan's nuclear program dates back to the late 1950s. However, it wasn't until the 1970s and 80s that the program made significant strides. One name stands out during these formative years, Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan. Often considered the father of Pakistan's nuclear program, his contributions were instrumental in its development. Fast forward to May 28, 1998, a date etched into the annals of history. Nestled in the rugged landscape of the Chagai district of Balochistan, the Rasko Hills bore witness to a series of nuclear tests. At least five nuclear devices were detonated, marking Pakistan's entry into the exclusive club of nuclear-armed nations. These tests, known as Chagai-1 and Chagai-2, were a response to India's nuclear tests earlier the same month. In the realm of nuclear policy, Pakistan operates on the principle of credible minimum deterrence. This principle implies that Pakistan aims to deter aggression by maintaining a sufficient nuclear capability. Moreover, Pakistan upholds a no-first-use policy, indicating a defensive posture that would only resort to nuclear weapons in response to a nuclear attack. When it comes to Pakistan's nuclear arsenal, the specifics remain shrouded in mystery. The country is believed to possess a mix of strategic and tactical nuclear weapons, but the exact number of warheads and delivery systems remains undisclosed, enhancing the opacity of its nuclear posture. The international response to Pakistan's nuclear tests was far from welcoming. Condemnation echoed across the globe, and Pakistan soon found itself grappling with economic sanctions. Despite this, over the years, Pakistan has engaged in numerous dialogues with the international community on nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament. So, there you have it, a brief yet intriguing journey through the history of Pakistan's nuclear program. From its humble beginnings in the late 50s, to the controversial nuclear tests of the late 90s, and the ongoing discussions around nuclear disarmament. It's a complex narrative, one that continues to evolve and shape the course of international relations. Remember, the world of nuclear capabilities and strategies is often shrouded in secrecy, and the information available is subject to change. To stay updated, make sure to refer to authoritative sources on nuclear issues and international relations. This is an ever-evolving story, a narrative that continues to shape our world in profound ways. So keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep learning.